Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to have a conversation about not liking people at first. And I think that this is an interesting topic because usually in life we kind of operate in these like two modes, this duality, where it's, ah, oh, here's a person or a group of people, I really like them, I really resonate with them, I vibe with them, right? And then we have the other way where it's like, here's this person, I don't really like them, I think they're weird, I don't like what they're doing, and we say that we don't resonate with that. And I feel like one of the beautiful, interesting moments are when we have maybe people or a group of people that we don't necessarily resonate with at first, but after time, we kind of have a change of heart, right? And we have a shift in perspective that makes us go, wait a second, I actually see what you're doing. And that resonates now in a way that it didn't necessarily before. And so I wanted to talk about this conversation. And I think that in order to have this conversation, I wanted to give a couple of personal examples from my own life. And basically just use this video I mean point blank and simple to say that there's beauty and power in not liking people at first. That's okay. And then there's also beauty in having a change of mind and a change of perspective to be, wait a second, I actually resonate with you now. I actually vibe with you now, even though first I didn't. So the first person um, that I can think of that is a great example for me with this kind of stuff what is Gary V. And Gary V kind of came into my little world sphere awareness probably in 2018. And I feel like this was when I recently graduated from college. I was I had a healthcare startup. And I remember just seeing him on camera and kind of seeing the energy and honestly it just kind of turned me off. I just felt like it was loud. I got the whole entrepreneurship kind of thing and vibe, but, uh, you know, my brain was like, I don't really trust this person. You know, what do they want from me? And basically it was like, this doesn't resonate and didn't really tune in. The interesting thing though is, you know, granted after I was fired from that startup and now I'm on my own journey, my own path creativity, entrepreneurship, and whatnot, guess who comes back into my awareness? Gary V. And of course, the doubts and the skepticism is still there, but I find 2019, 2020, I say, wait a second, I'm seeing you in a different light. And now when I think about Gary V, I think, you know, even though I don't think he's perfect, I resonate with a lot of the things that he's he says, I think that a lot of reasons why I didn't like him at first was because it was triggering. And I believe that he actually has really great humanity, <laughs> just in terms of all the people that he's helped along his journey and kind of, you know, creating his own empire and dynasty. A second person that I think of that also is pretty similar, Miriam Hasna. I mentioned her in a previous video. Um, about the tweet that she said where she said, you know, where's your community? Lone Wolf programming is over. And Miriam came into my awareness similarly when I was just starting to like have my awakening journey in 2019. And I saw her stuff on Instagram and then I would see her tweets on Twitter. And instantly when I saw her on Twitter, I kind of was just like, well, who does this person think they are? Like, I understand they're spiritual and I understand that they've been doing a lot of work. But at this time, I was maybe more used to teachers like Eckhart Tolle and um, maybe people like Muji or people that um, don't really have as much of a personality, per se. So when I came across Miriam's work, I was like, this kind of feels like there's a lot of ego and like, who does she think she is? But then, again, similarly, after some time and after having a shift in awareness in myself and growth, and then actually joining in one of her classes, that perspective shifted. And 
I could share a numerous amount of examples like this. People that I see on TikTok that I was like, oh, this person seems surface level or corny. And then later I come off and <laughs> I'm tuning into their work and I'm tuning into their interviews and I'm hearing their life story. And I'm like, wait a second. No, there's layers to this. You know, there is whole other dimensions that I didn't necessarily see. So what's the point in this? I think one... I think it's perfectly okay to not like people at first, you know, not everybody's going to resonate with us, not everybody is going to, you know, vibe with us, especially on first glance, and we know that already, right? But the point that I'm trying to make in this video is that there is actually power, I think, in changing our mind and having that shift and then kind of coming back around. And being like, wait a second, now I actually see what you're doing. And I don't just see you, I see you. You know, I feel you. And I understand what you are doing in the world. And I say this because, you know, you may be on your journey, on your path. And you may feel that, like, you know, maybe people don't see you or get what you're trying to do. And... I say that that's okay, you know, I think that's beauty in that, and when I think about myself and my journey and my path too, like, especially because it's so early, I think that it's perfectly fine for people not to necessarily, you know, see us at first, right, or get it, you know, I feel like that's such a, a big point, it's like, ah, I don't really get it. There's some people that do at first glance, right? And that's wonderful. But a lot, a lot of people, most people, they don't get it until things materialize. And I know just at least in myself and seeing people and individuals that I didn't like or resonate with, but now have had a shift in perspective, it's almost kind of like strengthened that trust in them because I already went through all the, the negativity and the skepticism and the doubt and it's like I brought that to the light and now I see them and their work in a whole new perspective so I think there's beauty in not liking people at first and changing our minds so that was on my spirit today and that's what I wanted to share and document and as always, if you're here, I'm very grateful, and I'll see you in another video. Peace.